If you like this video, subscribe to my channel, share this on social media, comment below, but let's get right to it. So once again, it's award season, so lots of screeners, lots of stuff going on here. So uh, I decided to watch Green Book with my wife um, and it's rated PG-13. Uh, it is a movie, uh, a, a true story, uh, based in the 1960s about a nightclub bouncer who is hired as a driver to take uh, an accomplished pianist on a uh, uh, southern tour of the southern states. Um, it was uh, uh, during the, you know, the really bad racial times that we had. Uh, with civil rights going on, all sorts of stuff. The Kennedys were in office. Um, and it, it's, it's, it's another one of those movies that needed to be told. Now, I didn't know anything about this film going in or even what the Green Book was. I was like, what's Green Book? What does that mean? So once again, so um, Viggo Mortensen plays Tony Lip, who is the bouncer, okay? And Marshala Ali plays Dr. Don Shirley. And... Dr. Don Shirley is the real life person who is a, an accomplished pianist, travels the world, he's educated, uh, speaks multiple languages, all this other kind of stuff, and he needs someone who can take him through his music tour for all his tour dates and make sure he hits all his tour dates because the record company says if he doesn't make the tour dates, you know, they don't get paid. And, and it's a three piece band, a bass player. I think one of them was horn and then the other was uh, Dr. Don Shirley playing piano. And so, you know, the beginning of the movie, Tony Lip bounces this guy right out of the Copacabana and he beats this guy to death. And, uh, you know, these mob guys are like, hey, you can't be beating him. He's like a named guy. And he was like, well, you know, he shouldn't have been handsy, blah, 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 blah. And next thing you know, uh, he gets recommended because the club has to shut down for either remodeling or the season's over for the year. And he needs a job. So he's looking around for jobs. And they give a little backstory where... Uh, uh, Tony Lip, played by Viggo Mortensen, uh, goes and he wins like a hot dog contest against somebody and eats like 26 hot dogs just for 50 bucks and uh, beats out this other guy just in a regular bet. But he's just, in order to make money, he's just doing like little side bets and stuff. But, you know, he's, he's a bouncer. He's a guy that, that doesn't take crap from anyone. And so he gets recommended for this driving position because they know they're going to be going through the Deep South with an African-American guy who's going to be in the back seat being chauffeured around, and it's going to be dangerous. And they needed somebody who wouldn't take crap from nobody and would get him where he needs to go. So um, when he gets the job, uh, and of course, they're like fish out of water, these two characters, uh, the, you know, one is just, you know, from the Bronx. It was either Bronx or Brooklyn. I think it was the Bronx. And, you know, just can't speak. He's got this, you know, he got that, uh, the language is like this when he talks and all this other. And the other one's very educated and he speaks very nice. And so back and forth, the banter was great. Now, it was directed by Peter Farley, who was known for directing Dumb and Dumber and There's Something About Mary um, and so on and so on. And so there is comedy in this film, but the subject matter is really heavy. Um, and so it's a different movie for Peter Farley, which is really cool. I was really excited to see this film because of that. Um, and this is a story that needed to be told. It's, it's another one of those things where, uh, like the movie Hidden Figures, you know, our history books are kind of whitewashed and we don't see these, uh, stories of things that happened with African-American people back in the 60s, they're just not really told. And so I love that these stories that we've never heard of are coming to light. And so it brings me back to what the Green Book is, which I didn't know what the Green Book was. I had no idea, I was like, wait, and what's the Green Book? Is it like a, a book that he, he writes memos or something? And no, this is a book handed out by the record company to the driver of all the places African-American people are welcome to stay in hotels. So when he's going on these city tours, he gets to a new town, he has to pull out the green book to find a place to drop off Dr. Shirley so he can rest and relax. And then he has to go to a white hotel. And I was like, wow. Wow, that was kinda, that hit me out of nowhere. Like, it's so sad that during that time, these were the things that went down. I'd never heard of this, never read about this in history books, that there's an actual, actual a guidebook of where you go 
if you were African American in the South, where you'd be welcome, where you could get food, where you could get all, all this stuff. It's just, ah, it's just a shitty part of our history. It really is. And um, so anyway, obviously the story is them bonding and, and camaraderie. And then of course, yeah, there's trials and tribulations uh, that go on um, in the film and so on and so on and so on. Uh, a lot of great performances in the movie. Um, and, uh, you know, it's just, it was just really good. Um, but it's another one of those movies that when you put it up against something like The Color Purple or S Driving Miss Daisy or something like that, I just don't know if this movie is the caliber of film to like win Oscars and all. It's just my personal opinion. Uh, I thought the movie was good. I didn't think it was like great like awesome, knocked it out of the park. To me, Viggo Mortensen, who is like a method actor, um, really got into the role, but I've seen him do better performances in other films. The performance Viggo Mortensen gave in this just felt like anybody could have been like, hey, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna bust you in the face. I'm gonna hit you, I'm gonna, I'm gonna knock you down. Like anybody could have kind of done this, you know? And uh, so it felt very, um, you know, like Sopranos, like over the top Goomba kind of thing, you know? And uh, it just was like, eh. But uh, Marshala Ali, Don Shirley did an amazing job because he had to go through so much crap during this film, getting beat up, thrown in jail, you know, crying, emotional, um, uh, you know? And I will say that like, it's all told from the point of view of Tony Lip. And I think if I'm not mistaken, uh, the son of Tony Lip in real life helped come up with this or write this. At the end of the movie, when the credits are coming up, they showed pictures of everybody in real life and all that stuff, and it was really, really cool. But um, I, Dr. Don Shirley passed away and um, never got to see this movie made, and his family members came out and were kind of a little peeved at some of the stuff that went down in the film because they said, although it was told from uh, Tony Lip's perspective, from letters and things that he had written back then to his wife, because there's this whole sequence in the movie where um, uh, Dr. Don Shirley helps Tony Lip write love letters to his wife while he's on the road because he writes stupid things like, you are a doll, kiss the kids goodnight for me. Uh, I saw a train today. I saw, and then he helps him, like you know, really articulate those things. And 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 uh, there's this really sweet moment in the end where um, all the love letters are keep coming back to uh, the wife, Dolores, and she's reading them and she's falling in love. And then when she finally meets Dr. Don Shirley, she hugs him and whispers in his ear, "Thanks for helping my husband write these letters," because she knew he couldn't write the way he said these beautiful things in these letters. Uh, and it takes a really educated man to help you know, help this guy get there. And uh, so that was a really sweet moment in the movie. Um, uh, and, but the, but the thing is, uh, I just, I just don't know if it is like, knock it out of the park great. Uh, 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 it's a good movie, everyone should see it. Uh, once again, this is something they should be teaching in the, in the textbooks, uh, in school. Um, that there was these things called green books that were handed out, uh, you know, travel guides for African Americans back in the day. And um, uh, because it just goes, it's just one more nail in a coffin about how crappy that, uh, that era was for people and uh, that, that people can actually, you know, travel and not have to have crap like that anymore. Um, so I definitely think people should see this movie. They should get out and see it. Um, I'm sure it's going to be streaming or on DVD soon, uh, or they might re-release it for the Oscars. A lot of times they do that if it's already run its course in the theater. Um, but uh, definitely check out Green Book. I enjoyed it. Um, and there you go. That was it. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel, share this movie on social media, comment below. Let's banter. Let's talk about Green Book. What did you like about it? And I'll see you on the next video.